finally after those four Super Bowl wins in the seven That is second year quarterback Ben Roethlisberger winning his first Super Bowl. It was unprecedented because he was a 23 year old when he accomplished such a feat. For the city of Pittsburgh, it ended their 26 year Super Bowl winning drought. The future was looking bright. They had the best defense in the league, amazing skill players, and it was all built around a young franchise quarterback. But a few months after the Super Bowl, Big Ben wanted to get some early work in during the offseason. It was pretty beautiful that day in Pittsburgh, so Ben decided decided to hop on his Peregrine Falcon, a bike named after the fastest bird alive. Being that it was pretty busy on the highway, Ben took the back road. Heading towards an intersection, a silver Chrysler New Yorker turned in front of Big Ben's bike. And before we get into what happened next, there's a very important detail I forgot to mention. Ben had forgot his helmet in his basement. And just like that, the 240 pound quarterback smashed into the windshield before landing face first into the pavement. A pool of blood began to surround Roethlisberger on the ground. When ambulances arrived, paramedics didn't even know it was Big Ben because his face was unrecognizable. When he was in the ambulance, a paramedic noticed a cut in his mouth and acted immediately. Later on, it would be revealed that Ben had slit an artery in his mouth, and if not for that paramedic, the 23-year-old quarterback would have died right on the spot. When rushed to the hospital, Big Ben was met with his family, coaches, and teammates. Now we have to take a step back here, because unfortunately for the Roethlisberger family, this wasn't the first time one of their loved ones had been involved in an automobile accident. In fact, Ben's mother had passed away when he was only eight years old on her way to pick him up for a weekend visitation. When news broke that Roethlisberger was in the hospital, the entire city of Pittsburgh came to a dead halt. To go from the greatest accomplishment in all of sports to the saddest tragedies in all of life is a fate that no one was ready for. Fortunately enough, after seven hours of surgery, Big Ben pulled through, but not without injury. It turns out he had suffered a fractured jaw, nose, concussion, lost two teeth, and chipped several more. When he first woke up, the first thing he said was sorry to his parents and head coach at the time, Bill Cower. Ever since the accident, Ben has had a different outlook on life. It's crazy to think we were seconds away from losing one of the greatest quarterbacks in NFL history. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see y'all next time.